What's up, guys? Uh, thanks for tuning in. I'm Lawrence Arnell. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys a shout out, man. Throw a little video up. Today, we are discussing a piece of equipment that I've wanted for quite some time now. <laughs> uh, I have more than my share of recording equipment, uh, microphones included. Uh, <clears throat> I, I grew up making music, uh, being a performer, uh, rapping, singing, performing on stages. I've always had uh, a passion for microphones. Uh, in recent years, last year, I started a podcast called The Arnell Agenda. Uh, <laughs> and and I, I had to do some research uh, on something that I thought I knew a lot about because I've been using them my whole life. I've been using microphones since I was like eight years old. It was not a, it wasn't supposed to be a new thing, but I spent a lot of time doing a lot of research, watching a lot of incredible uh, uh, YouTubers, uh, Bandrew from Podcast, uh, Mike Delgadio from Booth Junkie, uh, Bronson from Audio Hotline, and I learned a lot. So everything from polar patterns to uh, uh, pickup ranges, and so forth and the differences between dynamics and condensers and stuff that I didn't really think even mattered. Uh, but over that time, there was really only two pieces of equipment that I could say I genuinely lusted after. Uh, one was the Rode pod mic. Uh, sounds great. Great sounding microphone for really great price. It's only like a hundred bucks. Uh, so along the lines of your, your Shure SM58 and things of that nature. And it sounds great, but it's beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful microphones aesthetically. Uh, and because I was going to be doing video with my podcast, I wanted a microphone that looked good. You know, and, and it's one of many microphones I purchased uh, in the process of building my podcast and building my studio and having a selection of microphones. I have a couple of five fine K8s. They're great mics. They look awesome. They're built like tanks, and they uh, they all, they have incredible background rejection. They cost like twenty five bucks, but the pod mic is is it's a it's a it's, a, it's architecture. It's like microphone architecture, uh, and that's why I wanted it. The other microphone that I found myself lusting after is one that I can genuinely say I do not need, <laughs> and it's this. The beautifully constructed, built like a tank, great sounding, Shure MV51. Now, this microphone is, it's designed to, to remind you of the old uh, big head uh, microphones that, that, that people used back in the 50s. Um, it's got a very retro style to it, which is awesome, which is, I mean, which is why you lust after something like this. It, it just looks like... It, it just looks beautiful. Look at this. Look at this thing. Look at it. It's great, right? Uh, but, uh, it, it, you know, it's built, it's built like a tank. It's what I call uh, this in the pod mic are what I like to refer to as weapons grade uh, <laughs> equipment. These things, you could absolutely defend yourself with these things. This thing, is, it, it weighs maybe, maybe three quarters of a pound. The pod mic easily weighs a pound. Uh, they're not light microphones the reason the mv51 stands out is because it's such a useful piece of equipment it genuinely does so many things this guy is what they market as mfi which is kind of redundant because everything is mfi now mfi stands for made for ios this microphone comes with a uh, comes with a micro USB to lightning cable. It comes with a micro USB to USB A cable. You can plug it directly into any iOS device and it will, it doesn't even need a drive. It doesn't need any drivers or anything like that. You can plug it directly into your computer, your Mac, your PC. It needs no drivers. It is immediately recognized as a USB microphone. Um, in iOS, it is immediately recognized. It has five DSP settings presets it has a flat mode Let's, you know what check it out all right it has a flat mode 
this mode is designed for anyone who wishes to do some post processing after right uh, this is good for if you want to be doing your own eq you got time for that this is your mode this is the speech mode of the mv51 this is made for precisely what you see me doing right what i'm doing right now is talking to the microphone giving you speech information talking to you in your ear podcasters broadcasters uh, if you are live streaming, playing video games, you're doing a podcast or something like that, you don't mind your mic close up, uh, this is this is your mode. This, what you're hearing right now, is the singing setting. Uh, it, 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 this, it, this is something I could find myself using as well. I do make music still. I make beats. Uh, I, I still sing like hooks on my beats and so forth. Um, so this, this is something that I could find myself using. I, it, it's again, you're going to be doing some post-processing, uh, because like this raw audio is not all that flattering, but if you are going to be doing some post-processing, this is a good, this is a good setting to get singing into. What you're hearing now is the acoustic instrument setting. So if you are doing your podcast, uh, and you have a guest on who plays guitar, uh, or is going to play some piano or something like that. Um, they play flute, play saxophone, play trumpet, something like that, uh, like a, an acoustic or natural instrument. This is the setting you want to put your microphone on, let them play directly into this, and it'll pick it up and sound pretty good. Again, you may be interested in doing some post-processing or something like that. Uh, it, will, it will work for you for that. And finally, finally, the loud mode. Uh, again, testing all of these on my voice, because I don't actually play any instruments. Uh, but this is the loud mode. The loud setting is designed for uh, recording someone who is playing like an electric guitar out of an amplifier. Uh, this is set up to go up to that amplifier, let them get busy, and you can record it with some processing already applied. Personally. All right, now that's just, it's just me. It's just my opinion. This is my favorite setting. This is the setting that I was talking into from the beginning of this video and probably the setting I'll be talking into from now on. Everybody raves about the MV51 build quality. Everybody raves about the MV51 usability. Uh, it's, it's one of the reasons why I wanted to get this microphone. These are the things that people talk about as positives for this microphone. Of all of the positives that I hear about the MV51 and the motive line of microphones, and sure, nobody ever talks about the Sure Motive video app. I am recording this on my Android phone via the Sure Motive video app. Everything you're seeing right now being shot with the Sure Motive video app. And this is probably the dopest thing about using this Sure Motive system. Because if I were to record this in the Motive audio app, yes, I could adjust my audio settings, gain, uh, EQ, I could do all of that. However, I don't need to because it's it's got it's got DSPs built into the microphone. It's great for that. No problem. I'm not going to process any of this audio. Uh, but the Motive video app actually lets you shoot in 24 frames a second. I'm using the Galaxy S10 Plus. These Samsung Galaxy phones don't allow you to shoot in 24 frames a second. And on top of that, I'm shooting in 24 frames a second on the selfie camera. Only because I've actually got some light. If I didn't have a light in here, I would not, I would not dare shoot myself with the selfie camera in, in this studio. Uh, it's way too dark in here. But I got a light going. So, yeah, selfie camera. 24 frames a second on the selfie camera, 1080p, with the great MV51 audio quality. It, it, I, I don't know why people leave this out of their videos, but I'm not leaving it out of mine. If you're going to pick up this microphone, which right now you should go do, you should go do it 
right now because I've wanted this microphone for the better part of a year, for more than a year. And I put it off for a long time because typically this microphone is fairly expensive for someone who does not need a microphone. If you already have a microphone, if you've already got the ability to record yourself, this, this microphone can be a tad bit expensive. Even for something as usable and built as well as this, this microphone is usually about 250 bucks. Uh, that was a deal breaker for me because I've got two 5.5 K8s. I got two Behringer XM8500s. I got a pod mic. Uh, I've got I've got a Rode Video Micro that I can put on my camera or set up on my desk. I've got a Movo uh, VXR10 Pro shotgun mic I can use. I've got mics. I've got a condenser microphone that I use when I record my vocals in here. Uh, I forget what brand it is. It's not a fancy brand, but it's been it's been serving me well for more than like six years already. Uh, but I've got microphones. Uh, I'm using a Scarlet 2i2 into my Mac. I don't I didn't I don't need this microphone. Uh, so 250 bucks was a deal breaker for me. Uh, <laughs> lo and behold, just a couple of days ago, I happened to pull it up on Amazon because, again, I just love looking at it. I was watching videos about it again online and I pulled it up on Amazon. And it was down to 150 bucks. That's, that was crazy to me. That was that was come home time. But that wasn't it. All right. <laughs> Just a couple days ago. This mic came in last night. All right. So this is maybe three days ago. It was down to 150 bucks. But that's not it. It's down to 150 bucks with a 15% off discount. A coupon. Click, push a little button. You get 15% off of that. 150 bucks. This mic, this mic is now down to like 130 bucks. Now that's an instant buy now. That's that's add to cart. That's art that's add to cart territory right there. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Something I had not seen on Amazon. Uh and I see a lot of Amazon. I, I I spend more than my share time on Amazon. But even beyond that, I've never seen this on Amazon before. There was a an option for uh interest free payments for five months. So this microphone, which is now down to like 130 bucks, I could pay like 30 bucks a month for it for five months. Hence why it is in my home right now. <laughs> so I no longer had to had to put off uh, my desire, my passion for the MV51. I have it. I have it here. Um, you can hear it. You heard the audio samples of the different DSPs. You see it. It's a beautiful piece of equipment. Uh, and you hear it. If you are interested in an MV51, right now is a really good time to pick one up. That's really all I got to say, man. Uh, I'm just really glad uh, to get a chance to talk to you guys, show you guys what I'm picking up, what I'm working with, and how it's working. More videos to come. I hope you enjoyed yourself. If you did, Feel free to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. There's plenty of good stuff going on on this channel. Funny stuff, informative stuff, and there's more to come. All right? Y'all be safe. Peace.